How many people is this? What elevator got a weight capacity? I'm just curious because there's a lot of if fucks it's got in here. Weight capacity, okay. then just your mom would break it. My mom's a small person, smart ass, you fucking twat. She don't weigh that much. My mom would kick your ass, white boy. She makes sure you think you had a pair of nuts after she got done kicking your That's ass. She chases me around the house with a broom. It wouldn't be no problem for him. White boy, you're just as white as he is or whiter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's on how far my pants are. That's on how far my pants are. <laughs> Down so you can see my white ass. You're closer to not being white up with your pants up, not down. You can't just point at Kiara and say laugh and then kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what my thing's worst is I don't like Okay Lion, when you're in a grocery store at a grocery store right grocery store with your mom mom or dad whatever what was the worst thing you ever did to embarrass your parents six it increased i would put things yeah. into other people's carts yeah right. West -wise, oh, okay okay which is a terrible way to start things up really but it happened nope get back here little gremlin <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Courtney, what about you, Court? What? What was the worst thing you ever done when you were with your parents and embarrassed your parents in the grocery quest. store? I know, I'm just telling you that if there's a quest you do that join, uh, I'll tell you that. I have no idea. I can't think of anything. Okay. No, we're not talking about, like, some good content. We're talking <sighs> a lot of content. You know the stuff called Wonder Bread? Mm-hmm. You've, so You've heard of it, right? You're dumb. Yep. Yeah, right. No I took, I took, I took uh, yeah, oh, really? yeah, when I squished, <laughs> squished the shit out of the Wonder Bread, but that's not the only one. I did, used to do the same thing to my mom when she got old. We get old. She got, asked me to go grocery shopping. I'll go with her and walk up and actually bump or trip over a cart and go, lady, I don't know who you are, but you're stalking me. Would you quit following me around? People just look at us really fucked up. <laughs> She enjoyed it, but she was embarrassed as hell as soon as she found out that her aunt kind of understood what we were talking about. What the fuck you running away for? You've never done any shit like this? I mean, it's funny what enough. I used to do when we used to go shopping is uh, where the toilet rolls are and everything. We used to build, like, mm -hmm. I used to build like, uh, move so yeah, behind the, yeah, I did behind that. them, I did that. yeah. <laughs> And then your parents are like moving each one, trying to what? catch you, and you just you keep scoring back and forward. You're not a sub, but you'll eat one, right? We're basic. No, it... <laughs> you don't eat Subway sandwiches. What the hell's wrong with you? You don't like no, I do. Subway uh, food? I, 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 no, I do. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the other question. Here's, here's one for you. Here's one for you. Now, what have you done on your own with your significant other that you might be dating to embarrass her? Out of nowhere. <laughs> I, have oh, to I do that all the time with Mousy. So, <laughs> there was one time in which one of my exes left me alone inside a toy. And, well, it was like a general store. And she wandered off to look at clothes and left me alone to my own devices. She returned to me smiling like an absolute fucking idiot. Rocking on a, on a rocking horse that's comically too small for me. Just sitting there in the aisle for like... 20 to 15 minutes shocking back and forth with a stupid grin on my face the entire time and i watch her walk up to me look at me look at the rocking horse back at me and go yeah I, no and this walks out well, i've done that that's a bitch try to get a size 14 heel on that's a motherfucker to walk around it huh without breaking him he's raising his hand like we're in school mom can i go to the bathroom no that's okay what huh <laughs> No, you yeah, go. Jesus Christ. After you. No. Ten. Hey, I got a ball. They got oh, the two racks on the net. We got this, mate. Oh, okay, I'll go first. Ooh. I'll go first. Okay. So, basically, my ex-girlfriend, uh, we went to the shops, and I slapped her ass, and she said, why'd you do that? And I was like, no reason. Little did, I, little did she know I had toilet paper. 
that strapped her ass and it <laughs> she's walking her in. <laughs> Stuck a toilet paper on her butt. One of my exes I was what? with that I when I moved out of state to go be with her. Streaming, by the she way. disliked being the center of attention. I saw. So what I did was is I planned on her mm-hmm. birthday to go to a restaurant. I went How to the busiest you? one and then I called in oh, a day ahead of no. time I and I asked them to there. sing happy Four birthday. The yeah, they pulled the entire like... staff, including the general no, manager, no. Oh, the cooks, the prep cooks, well, the I mean, wait staff, if, if brought them all over to our table as soon as we sat oh, down Jesus and sang Christ. happy yeah, birthday and the entire time she looked horrified and like she wanted to murder me at the exact same time. I remember going into Aunt Summers and just picking up every whip and just, you know, and, uh, and they was just like, mm. they was just like acting, because like we was getting looks from like the people who was working behind, like in there. So they was like looking at us like, okay, and uh, yeah, they got embarrassed. So I was just like, yeah, no, fuck this shit, I'm out. Just, just okay, like so we, go, we went out to a restaurant, very nice one. Um, She went to go to the bathrooms <laughs> and there was a nice big tub of salt. Next She's to crazy. her water. So why not just She's open crazy. it? <laughs> Start a little bit to make sure it's not it's not that bad. So well, she came back, She's crazy. took a big gulp of it. <laughs> and <laughs> spat it out instantly in front of the people that were in front of us. Mine was when I was turning around the girlfriend who was checking out bras. Right? Mm-hmm. I've done this more than once to anybody that, oh, I've got to go get bras, so I have to follow along. You know, you don't want to really be there, but what the hell? So, what I'm out to is she was in there trying on bras, and I turned around, picked up one, and the lady that was in the checkout booth, do you think this, for the dressing room, do you think this looks good on me? And right in front of her, she looks out the window, are you cr- What? You know, oh, and the lady goes, is this your, is this belong to you? And he goes, she goes, yes. And she goes, I feel sorry for you. And that was the end of the conversation. It never went any further. One of my exes was a, was a, a short person. Like, mm-hmm. not midget size, but short. And I would very regularly grab all the things that not she tall. would want in the morning and put them on top shelves of things mm-hmm. and tape them to the ceiling. That is mean. Because you can get, oh, you bitch. She would find a way to get them all down, and just before I'd go to bed, when she's passed out, I'd go back, put them all back at the exact same places, top of the top of the fridge, taped to the ceiling, up on the top or shelf, uh, top shelf mm-hmm. of the bathroom cabinet, just in the weird places. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, I actually did something similar, kinda, not really, but kinda. So basically, this is this is before I got like a like a kind of deep voice, but not really got a deep voice. But this is like where I could do like high pitch impressions. What I did was, um, we went to the bra section, she, w- she went to get one, uh, and I grabbed Let one, put it over my head, and showed it a Mickey Mouse impression. 